Would you ever eat a moose burger? Yeah, probably. No, I don't know. <laughs> if you would, what 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 do you like on your on your moose burger? <laughs> like what what do you like mustard, cheese? No mayonnaise. What's your full name? My name is Ryan McLennan. What's your middle name? Michael. Nice. My middle name is Michael. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 28 years old. How long have you, would you consider yourself to seriously be making artwork? Seriously making artwork, I would say the past like five, five or six years. Um, about a year after school, getting getting really interested in it, uh, which I guess would be like 2004, about. So yeah, five years. And you, where did you graduate from? I graduated from VCU. In the painting age. and printmaking department. I guess the involvement of my artwork since, since being in school, or since starting seriously painting, um, I kind of picked up where I left off in school, making more abstract kind of work. Uh, for a couple of years, we had that studio on Broad Street that's now Court Gallery, and uh, a bunch of us in there, and making pretty sloppy abstract paintings. And, Doing that for about a year or so, and then kind of questioning why I was doing it, um, losing interest in it, trying to trying to get a new idea or change. And, um, down, down. Changing into the wildlife, from, uh, probably about three three years ago. I feel like um, feeling you need to do more drawing. Um, Getting away from the abstract work and uh, being at that time, I was hiking a lot, going going the mountains, and I guess getting inspiration from that, I uh, started reading about it, and uh, the more I learned, the more I kind of pushed it, and kind of kind of driven on that theme. Well, why are, why are you interested in animals that you feel like you know about compared to something that is not in anywhere close to your environment? Well, I'm, I'm more interested in, in the animals that, that are closer to me. Um, I have more of a chance to observe, I guess, some of them. Uh, a lot of the animals that I do paint don't live around here, and there are some that I've never even seen in person before. Um, birds, mostly. I've been painting a lot of more birds recently. Um, I spent a good part of the summer down the river watching ospreys and herons and green herons and blue herons and and hawks, and it's really kind of pushed me to do more of that. Um, Were you sketching? Just being able to, some, yeah, sometimes. Um, I don't even really sketch that much before I start. So, I mean, sometimes I do, I have to sketch to like lay out the composition and get my ideas together. Um, and sometimes I, I, I will make drawings when I'm down there watching them. And a lot of times from memory, uh, a lot of times when I make paintings, I have to well, on images that I find and books come across or online. The normal person, when you bring up like wildlife painting, some very specific imagery usually pops in people's heads. Um, and yours is very different from that. Why do you think yours is very different? Uh, I think normally a lot of wildlife paintings or illustrations, a lot of them are usually done in watercolor. Um, or I guess mainly the ones that people associate with are recognizing Audubon paintings or what comes to, I would imagine, most people's minds right off the bat. And I think uh, the acrylic, and the, I guess the way that I'm painting them, it's, it's not, not really as clean as that. Um, the, uh, just the white backgrounds 
it kind of makes it pop out a little bit more, but it's still, overall, I mean, like, my palette, it's pretty restricted to, you know, a handful of colors. It's, uh, I don't know, I think it's just a little bit more, more dirtier or less precise than a lot of these watercolors or illustrations or things like that that people, again, that I imagine would just think of very well. So what's your, what is your current series or the, the work you're doing now? Like, can you talk about the content and that and, you know, what's, what's uh, going on in there? Adding elements that would definitely be in these places. Um, again, there's, there's not much other than the animals or these, these plant forms or, you know, any kind of dead trees, but uh, I've been adding uh, antlers, skulls, things like that, that would be here because these animals, they don't live forever. Uh, so there, there are things that I'm, I'm trying to add in and, and how they can interact with those things still and how they would use them or hold on to things like that. So you're really bringing in, or starting to bring in the idea of things that have already been dead um, compared to the act of dying or perishing. Mm -hmm. So what's next? Do you know, do you even think about it? Or, as, you know, as I mean, do you have plans for like the future? I mean, are there things that you think about when you're working that you're like, well, I'd like to try that maybe to do that one day or try there, that like later? There are, there are things that I, that I, I do think about and... You don't want to tell I, me. That I, I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, and no, nothing that like I'm like set on, uh, but kind of wondering if I were to make paintings of maybe how this this place, this environment was a little bit before it where it is right now, or maybe maybe a little bit later. Um, will Will, uh, will there be more things growing? Um, will be more, I don't know, you know more, more colorful? Or what, what else could turn up here? And so yeah, I mean, just trying to, trying to figure that out. Um, I don't know.